fit in the casing. So if you have a damaged casing or something. Hey, uh, Brent, hey bro, show right. show exactly what's going on on video. So, cause, um, like this is some this shit. This is exactly this like is a sig. So this is So what we just experienced is what's called an audible pop. It's one of the fucking most notoriously bad um, pops of mal malfunction with a gun, if I may look down range. So what we happened, the shooter was shooting. We heard a very light pop. And it's almost like a metallic thump. The shooter immediately dropped the mag out of the gun, and then we waited about a minute, minute and a half with the gun pointed down range in case it was a slow cook off or a slow burn. Once we determined that that wasn't the case, we wrapped the slide, and this casing popped out. Here's the casing. You notice how it's got more black trash around the actual casing itself? That shows a dirty burn. Maybe you just had a, could have, he could have had a bad seat in the collar around the round we don't know we have been having you know multiple issues with this ammo for this specific shooter now moving forward with the part that makes it an audible pop is what we had experience with this shooter was what's my hold his frame the round went off the casing fell out but no bullet left the fucking barrel so when we removed the barrel from this firearm you can see that there is a projectile inside of the barrel there's a projectile about. complete barrel obstruction yep a total now here's where a tap rack see here's a light you can kind of see the around the edges of the projectile that's in there if the shooter had done remedial or, or, or um, immediate action like tap rack bang and see another round in there and fired it off it would have exploded the barrel so this is the importance of paying attention when you're shooting if you hear an audible pop you need to immediately address that. You gotta know what you're listening for. You gotta know what you're looking for. Looking for. But audible pop, for obstruction. Now, I, I just wanna add something in here uh, real quick. You buy and reloads from people or remanufactured ammo uh, as a firearms instructor, and I've seen thousands of rounds go down range in a day. Um, all the issues that we find with rifles and pistols has always really been due to to reloads like if you're going to come do a training course or something like that buy some genuinely good ammunition um and these people that are you know selling remanufactured ammo um there's some people out there that do know what they're doing and there's some people that don't and i would be willing to bet that this ammo came from someone who doesn't know what they're doing today yeah um there has been i think we've had about four or five at this point issues with the ammo that the shooter brought and it's not on the shooter at all because you didn't know bad ammo is out there um we found a oversized projectile on one of these improper seating within the casing and damaged casings so you gotta pay attention to your ammo and it's always a good idea to just check your ammo before you even start shooting that day it takes five minutes that five minutes could save you a 300 dollars barrel as well as that was a damn good call by yeah the whole range crew, officer yeah. the whole crew everybody damn good everybody, call. everybody here was immediately damn good that's also a good thing to show is everybody on the fucking range is a fucking range safety officer everybody wants to make fun of being you know everybody wants to make fun and pick on you for trying to be over the safe on a fucking range this is fucking guns yeah you know if you make an if you make a fucking incident on a range that's a fucking gun violence statistic right there that you just added but without even doing anything violent it's just a fucking accident so anytime you go to a hospital with a gunshot wound, that shit gets reported. And then they just tie that in with fucking gun control issues and conversation. So be safe, be vigilant, pay attention, be smart. Don't be an idiot. Don't be a fucking dick. Over and out.